One of the key issues that, that we face when we're treating older adults with acute leukemias and with myelodysplastic syndrome is trying to better understand fitness in the context of therapy and to really understand for an individual older adult which patient is likely to be fit enough to be able to tolerate standard intensive therapies, particularly in the setting of acute leukemias, and which, which patients may be vulnerable or may be less likely to benefit. We're learning a lot more about the role of geriatric assessment in helping us understand particularly how to characterize fit versus unfit older adults in the context of acute leukemia and myelodysplastic syndrome. We have a study now in the setting of acute myeloid leukemia, which shows that assessment of physical performance, which is objectively measured physical function in, in the context of your therapy evaluation, can help predict who may be fit and likely to tolerate therapy, as well as assessments of cognitive function. In myelodysplastic syndrome, a recent study was published that looked at assessing comorbid conditions, as well as a very brief frailty score, which can be done in approximately one minute in clinical practice. Both of these were associated with survival outcomes. So giving us some information about how we refine our assessments of older patients in these settings. There are also some data now looking at patient reported factors such as fatigue and how they help discriminate treatment tolerance and survival benefit as well as the use of frailty markers in this context. So more broadly, if we look beyond the settings of acute myeloid leukemia and myelodysplastic syndrome, just in the past year or two, we've seen emerging data in other settings, multiple myeloma and chronic lymphocytic leukemia in particular, that have shown the benefits of utilizing a geriatric assessment prior to treatment to help predict outcomes for older patients. In addition to some of the published trials that we've already discussed or mentioned, there are ongoing studies, randomized trials, and phase two studies in multiple settings, both in the U.S. and internationally, that have incorporated geriatric assessment into the randomized trial format. So we're going to have data coming out in acute myeloid leukemia, as well as several other hematologic malignancies over the next couple of years that are going to inform our assessment strategies for these patients.